kwa sababu ya sababu nyingi nyingi tu leo nimeona nishughulikie yale mambo ambayo wale ambao wanataini kartasi wanasema itakuja ikatasi ya kwanza wanasema yale mambo ambayo hajatainiwa kwa muda na yale ambayo wanaona ni kama inakuja na sijasema usome haya peke yake unapozo kurudia kila kitu hakuna mtu anajua nini mtiani inakuja hata wale katika mtandao wanakwambia hivyo wale wengi si walimu si ndio si walimu soma kila kitu kwa mimi nakwambia kile ambacho uh, mwalimu ambaye anataini katasi ya kwanza ni mtahini anasema yanaweza kuja kama mengine yakarejelewa kwa hivyo we mwenyewe uangalie haya na pia urudie kila kitu umesoma kutoka kitabu cha kwanza sijasema ujikite kwa haya peke yake narudia tena ndio usije ukafika pale kwa, mta, kwa mtiani ukaona mambo tofauti ukaanza kusema oh sijui nini oh tulidanganya hakuna mtu amekudanganya si nimekwambia usome Nimesema usome kila kitu. Si ni sawa? Lakini nakwambia uangalie mambo haya uone kama unakumbuka. Kwa hivyo swali la kwanza mambo ambayo hajatainiwa ni kuhusu uh, question 1 paper 1 creation and the fall of man. So here in creation and fall of man look at the creation stories both of them look at them and then look at the differences then still in question 1 look at the uh, consequences of sin and co- uh, that is chapter 3 in form 1 so you look at the consequences of sin in the traditional in the what the traditional african society the consequences of evil and you look at the consequences of sin in the bible and then you also look at the differences from there you find out that uh, the bible was tested in 2020 and 2012 so we are not sure very sure whether they are going to to, to get a question in the bible because it was tested tested on 2020 you see not so sure about it but you can look at it because That means uh, this year the KCC was not tested the Bible. Introduction to CRE was done in 2019. But the examiner feels like it won't be tested this year. It's just like the Bible they are 50-50. Then we go to question 2 paper 1. Uh, look at Moses. Basically here we are saying you look at this Moses you look at his making uh, you look at his background and his call background background and his call and then you look at the Sinai covenant because Sinai covenant was tested in 2011 2017 and 2018 lastly so look at uh, 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 the making of the Sinai covenant the breaking it and the renewal and then there is something that you should look at is um, questions on the new understanding of god after the renewal of the covenant remember here when you're talking about the renewal you are looking at the conditions yes they have not been tested also and then you look at the how god how uh, the israelites worshiped god in the wilderness that's all about question 2 then we call, we go to question 3 paper 1 Uh, you look at uh, David has not been tested for long so you can get either a surprise question of Samuel or and David especially you look at the promises made to David through who? prophet Nathan those ones have not been tested for so long though that can be a surprise question because it has, it has not been tested and then you look at loyalty to God And loyalty to God Elijah you are going to look at the Mount Carmel contest you look at uh, on Elijah you look at Ahab and Naboth and 
and how uh, the last thing there you're, you're supposed to look is how he faced danger and hostility in Israel. Elijah, it has not been tested. And you look, you make sure you know how to narrate the Mount Carmel what contest. Uh, he, he, he was not so sure about uh, about the Canaanite religion because he was talking about, you look at just the characteristics of the Canaanite religion and also you look at, uh, because here is where it's about David, you look at the temple in what? In Jerusalem. They keep on repeating the temple in Jerusalem and the characteristics of the what? Of the Canaanite religion and the work of judges. You look at the, what the judges are supposed to do. That is question three. Question four. Here is where you are tested um, for a while. In this question four, they've not tested the prophets. The characteristics of prophets, that is true prophets. They've not, and the comparison of the true and false prophets, they've not been tested for a while. That is the Old Testament. You look at the differences between the Old Testament prophets and the traditional African what? Prophets also, the comparison. It has not been tested. That area of prophets have, has not been tested. And then you have to look at, still number four, you look at Amos. Teachings of Amos on hypocritical religion. I think we've tackled a few questions about it. Many questions. And briefly, just briefly look at social justice and responsibility there. But on Amos, we want basically you look at the critical religion and social justice and responsibility, just that. Then we move to question five. Question five is about Nehemiah. They can most probably bring about Nehemiah. So there are few areas that have not been tested. Nehemiah, occasions when he prayed, the challenges, and then you could look at the qualities of ne Nehemiah, especially the qualities have not been tested. And then you look at the reforms. Just uh, highlight on the reforms, know them in basic terms. Someone was saying, another examiner was saying that uh, people should uh, look at the dedication of the wall. You narrate how it follows each other. I'm not so sure about it. About uh, still on Nehemiah, we've talked about the occasions, the challenges, the, and I've told you the, remo the reforms. And then you look at the dedication, especially Nehemiah, the dedication of the wall. <laughs> so here... Uh, this other one was saying that uh, uh, maybe you should get a surprise question on Jeremiah. Can be if if there's a surprise question on question five, it will be on Jeremiah. That is the temple sermon or the letter to the exile. And look also at the res restoration on Jeremiah. In case they don't bring Nehemiah, they will bring a surprise question on Jeremiah, either on temple sermon. Letter to exile or a restoration. Then question six. Here is the ATR. So uh, what you're supposed to look at is look at the kingship ties, the importance of kingship ties. And we talked about it. I've tackled like three questions. I wasn't telling you why I was looking at it. Those I chose those papers. But we've looked at the importance of kingship ties. Look at the role of ancestors and role of God. And then you also look at how the living show respect to, to the dead. And then lastly, you look at factors that have 
caused change in the African traditional religion, or you look at the challenges, the challenges of the African traditional religion. What are the challenges? Like, for example, what is the challenge of uh, people not uh, uh, using the African traditional religion? Is like uh, Christian Christianity or Islam, also science and technology. That's why we are not venerating the ancestors. You look at that. That is all about paper one.